Friends, in this video, we are going to see management of two cataracts with mid dilated pupils. This is the first one. Uh, capsulorexis and hydrodissection has been done. Fecal needle goes in, some superficial lens matter is removed, and the tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus, and the chopper is used to divide the nucleus. You can call this vertical chop. The tip, is, the nucleus is rotated a little bit. The tip is buried again, chopped, and the free nuclear fragment is emulsified. The precautions that we should take in such cases is to be careful not to go to the margin of the pupil, to the pupillary border. If we go very close to the pupillary border, we may catch the iris. And there can be iris injury. Again, the other hemineucleus is positioned and it is chopped into two fragments. All the time the bevel is towards the uh, right side and now the bevel is down holding the epineucleus and towards the end the bevel is up. So the bevel, so the handpiece is rotated inside the hand, inside the fingers, by the fingers to for safe fecomulsification. This is the second cataract. Both the cataracts are of grade 3 NS. Capsulorexis and hydrodissection has been done. The phaco needle goes in. Some superficial lens matter is removed. Now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel to the right side. And it goes in the substance of the nucleus. And see how beautifully we can chop, vertical chop. And here I see that the, there is surge. Why there is surge? Yes, the antechamber is almost collapsing. I asked the assistants and they said that, oh, the bottle is finished. The ring elected. Oh no, the BSS bottle is over. So we wait, get another bottle and go in again. So we just get the free piece that we got, emulsify that, another free piece, and now we turn the, you know, just picked up the other hemineucleus and started emulsifying this. And this is the epineucleus. I just remove the epineucleus and cortex also remove as much as possible. But always be careful during epineucleus and nucleus management. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in managing such cases.